All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. This is my full review for the Yumi Digi One Max. I've had this phone for probably going on two months or so, and I felt like it was probably time to lay it down and, and give you uh, my final thoughts on it uh, and um, tell you what it's like using a phone like this. Uh, so let's start with the design of the phone. Uh, this is a premium design, hands down. First off, you have a fingerprint reader in the in the home in the power button right here. That alone is a win-win. You've got your volume rocker. You've got a metal design. You've got this carbon fiber look on the back. Let's clean it up a little bit. There you go. You can kind of see. Isn't that a beautiful premium design, man? Premium. You got the dual camera setup back here. Uh, a, a LED flash. You've got uh, some antenna lines down here. You've got the SIM tray over here. And you've got Type-C, speaker out, microphone, and headphone jack down there. And you just slightly rest your finger on the uh, power button. And it opens up. Now this is running um, uh, stock Android. Uh, and, oh, I'm sorry. The front of the phone. <laughs> I don't think I covered that. Uh, the front of the phone obviously has what we've seen before, this same design, 6.3-inch uh, display. The only difference is this display is 1520 by 720, so it's a 720p display. It is actually one of the better looking 720p displays, uh, but um, that's just what it is. And uh, You know, I don't mind using a 720p display as long as it's good. So this phone is running uh, stock Android 8.1. Uh, and it has 4 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs onboard storage, which is just crazy when you think about it. Um, there's phones out there that cost way more. So you can see there's a the storage. 128 gigs. Uh, there's phones out there running way more um, that cost a heck of a lot more. So obviously you can see this guy's face ID right there. It's okay. And the navigation keys, obviously you can reverse them or you go into here and you can choose how you want to do it or you can hide the navigation bar by turning that on and just putting it down there uh, but we'll, and also you can do the gestures too just like um, the stock uh, Android for all the gestures so you can see how it goes like that uh, but oops let's put that back but um, the the phone itself man is it's okay, uh, and I'm going to get into that right now. As you can tell in the tone of my voice, I'm, this isn't my happiest of money I've spent on a phone. <laughs> uh, but we'll get to the price later. But again, Helio P23 octa-core processor um, does have an SD card. You can use up to a hundred or 256 gig card. It says I've never tried a 256 gig card, even though I have one. Uh, I haven't tried one to be honest. Now this does pick up LTE for the U.S. because it has nearly every band that'll get you operating. And keep a steady flow of service. I mean, it has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19, 20, 25, 26, 28A, and 28B. It also has LTE bands for 34, 38, 39, 40, and 41. And that is a lot of LTE bands. You'll only be, you'll only be co covered under 3G2 because it has 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, and 19. So that's something that you should keep in mind. Coverage with this phone should be perfectly fine. LTE coverage, I, I haven't, I've never lost service using this, um, using this phone. So I don't think that you guys will either. Now, um, software wise, as you can see, it's pretty snappy, pretty speedy. Um, no extra features because this is kind of like, this is just basically a stock Android phone. Uh, which is something that I think a lot of people enjoy these days, stock Android. Uh, I do, at least. Um, I used to run a custom launcher on here. I used to put the Pix launcher on here, which is one of my favorite launchers, if you guys know. Um, it's basically like the Pixel launcher to give your phone the stock appearance, uh, which is something that I enjoy. Uh, so software-wise, you know, it's stock Android, if you will. I uh, stock Android. So... Um, Screen is, is uh, good enough for me. Let's go and go into a video here. The speaker on this thing is decently loud, I should add. Uh, let's see here. Let's go into 
the video. I better turn it down so it doesn't get too loud. This is a beautiful display. Now I got the volume turned down because this, this speaker is really, really loud. Uh, but the quality that I'm getting from this thing is really good. And now it's at 360. I'd be cranking up to 720p, uh, 60 FPS. This is beautiful. It's beautiful. No complaints whatsoever. So the speaker volume is it's quiet in the house right now, so I'm not cranking the volume way up. But the speaker volume and the screen definitely on par for me. I really enjoy them. I really like it. Uh, as I said before, performance is snappy. It's fine. No complaints. Nothing. Uh, I don't have any complaints about that with the software. Um, battery life on this thing, as you as you can imagine, it's going to definitely be very long uh, because this is a 720p display and it's got a huge battery inside. Let me give you because the number I've, I've seen some conflicting numbers on this battery, uh, but I'm going to see if I can go into the hardware itself because it's, it's, it's got a 4,000. Uh, 150 milliamp hour battery. Now let me go into, see if I can get into hardware and put my glasses on here. See if I can get into system and about and get into hardware. So there's four gigs, 128. Uh, I'm trying to find if I can get into hardware. Uh, da, 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 da. I wanna find that battery. Uh, maybe I'll be able to get in a different way here. Let's go to the battery and see if it'll give me the milliamps there. Well, it does. I've seen some uh, information about the battery that it was higher than that. And I thought, ah, that can't be right. Uh, but it does have a 4,150 milliamp hour battery inside. And it definitely will last you for a very long time because it's only pushing a 720p display and it has stock Android. So battery life, if you can't make it through, um, let me see, a full day and a half with this phone, uh, you definitely use your phone a lot more than me. So that's a, another thing that I really enjoy about it. Now, uh, the price of the phone, this is only 200 bucks right now. So I'll leave a link in the description so you can grab yours. Uh, it's on sale for 200 bucks, 199 to be exact. It has a carbon fiber one that I have and it also comes in like this twilight color where it's like a flip-flop purple, blue, and green. It's really sweet. Um, yeah, just just beautiful. Now, what don't I like about this phone? Well, it's obvious. The cameras is something that uh, <laughs> I talked about in another video, and they haven't improved, folks. The, these cameras are, are just, this camera software is just bad, bad, bad. This is the oldest camera software I have ever seen. Now, I'll take a, fo a photo here. And um, I took the photo, and if you if you look down here, you'll see the processing time of how long it took to save that photo. So I don't know if you were paying attention, but I'm going to grab something else here. And you pay attention down here in this corner down here where that photo is on, on when you see that actually appear. All right, so you, did you count? Now let's count together this time. I'm going to grab something else. One, one thousand. Two one thousand, three one thousand, three seconds before that photo renders, and that is why I ran into a problem. Now the quality of the phone, the quality of the photos, decent. I mean, look for yourself. It's pretty decent. It's not gonna knock your socks off probably, but um, yeah, that processing time is way too long, way too long way too long now i'm going to grab something i'm going to grab the moto g7 and i'm going to just just demo for you i'm going to take a photo with the moto g7 as well Man, this camera is awesome you can see it already appeared up here it's, it's already up there now you look at the difference uh, in these photos and you can see how both photos render this particular photo now obviously the granola bar is right there so I'm gonna zoom in right here 
I'm gonna zoom in right here and I'm gonna zoom in right here and that way you can see what I'm talking about for quality check that out for yourself so that's just a, a test of the cameras they they are not the best um, uh, but they're definitely not the worst uh, but this camera software is just horrible man the video quality everything it's it's just not it's not something I, there's no way that I could possibly use this uh, and uh, no and here are the here are the camera settings this is it yeah this is the strangest um, setup I've ever seen so it does record in 1080p but you know the quality is just not the best it claims to have EIS don't think so um, you've got night mode you got all these different modes on here I just don't buy it I don't buy it that's just me uh, but yeah what have I disliked about this phone definitely the cameras the worst set of cameras I have ever used on a phone sluggish slow just bad so with that being said how do I feel about the phone it's a decent phone I enjoy it uh, it's got some good solid build quality to it a little slippery it comes you know I got a case for it and everything but I don't like to use cases when I don't have to but this is a sturdy well-built phone man it is well built and my only gripe at this point after having it for almost two months maybe is the uh, cameras it is the cameras they suck and I don't even believe both of these are real cameras some guy you guys told me about that uh, but I don't know I'll have to buy the Yumi Digi F1 and I'm also going to buy the um, Redmi Note 7 those are the phones because they're both the same price they're 200 so and I'm sure I'll like the Redmi Note 7 uh, over this because uh, that you know I like Xiaomi software um, it's looking for face and you can see that's a demo of the face but anyway full review uh, on the uh, Yumi Digi One Max it's not a bad phone man it just has sucky cameras they're, they're not up to my standards and um, that's just how I feel about it everything else you can see I didn't I didn't really mark it down much at all uh, it's an enjoyable device and uh, as a matter of fact I tested the front camera and the rear camera and the front camera is better than the rear camera yeah so this is your man Jay. I hope you guys enjoyed the full review of the Yumi Digi One Max. It's I could you should you could buy it. It's not bad. If you can deal with the rear cameras being not so great, you'll be alright. It's your man Jay. I'm out.